If people say they don't wake up and look like this, they're wrong. <laughs> I have I have pimple patches on. I wanted this to be realistic. I slept so good last night. I literally had the weirdest dreams, but I've always had crazy weird dreams um, growing up. Look at that. It's cloudy. At least it's not raining. Well, it probably will rain. <laughs> good morning to the little fishes. They are so, look at them. Oh my God, they're so hungry. I'm gonna give them breakfast. So how are we doing? I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally so tired. And if you know me, usually like when I get up in the morning, so I'm like, oh my God, hello, beautiful day. I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> And I have water on me because I just did dishes. I'm gonna wash my face. Usually I use CeraVe, but I got scared of like chemicals and stuff. <laughs> so I literally went to Trader Joe's and I think it's a lot better for your skin. So I'm now using their face wash. They also have face lotion with SPF in it because you should always wear SPF like every day. Super lemon room mist. <sighs> and it smells so good. I might work out later because I have lots of things to do today. So I took a shower and I got a good base on my face and I've been using this Gua Sha and it feels so good on my face. I usually use that or a roller, but I'm going to get ready for the day and then check back in with you guys. So I got ready. I'm just sitting on the floor and I really just wanted to chat with you. But first, okay, first I have to show you my shirt. I'm going to wear this shirt literally every single day. It is my new favorite shirt. I'm just wearing these like black sweatpants, my Nike Air Force Ones, a leather jacket, and this really cute tank top. I've just been feeling more myself than I ever have, but I kind of want to touch on why you maybe care so much what people think and how to get out of that mindset because I'm still working through that. I think that's a big thing, a big lesson that I've learned in this lifetime or one that I'm currently learning. And I feel like the more energy that you focus on yourself, what brings you happiness, your passions, whether that's, you know, activities or things that you want to fulfill in this lifetime, I feel like the noise or the focus on other people's opinions, judgments, expectations, or projections onto you kind of fades away. It's definitely like a daily practice because I feel like the society is set up to compare people, put people against each other. But to me, they're just... There is no competition because we're all different. We're all unique. We are all created in the way that we were meant to. There's not a single person on this planet that is created just like you. And so I find there to be so much power in being your unique self and embracing you for who you are. And really who determines perfect? Who determines this ideal type of person or who you should be or what you should be doing? We should all be focusing on ourselves and our growth and what we came here to do and who we're becoming. And I don't understand where this emphasis comes on, you know, everything is a reduction if you think about it. These feelings of whether people get angry towards you or jealous towards you or send you this negative energy, it's really because you trigger their wounds, their insecurities, their things that they need to work on within themselves. Really the most judgmental people ever are incredibly critical and judgmental of themselves. So they project that onto you. So maybe you're just naturally a confident person or you're naturally bubbly or you naturally bring a lot of light or you're just naturally, I don't know, just a happy or high vibrant person and you've ever noticed you walk into a room or you're around people who aren't necessarily like that, that's just not a bad thing. You're just different, right? Because we, everybody is different. Everybody has their own sort of energy, their own sort of being. And I've definitely had it where I've been around people and they just aren't that way or they make you feel bad for it or you can feel, you know, they make comments or they make comments about your parents or your voice or who you are. That's because some part of them feels triggered by that and so they put you down it's not about you when people make judgments about you they're making it on themselves but projecting onto you to make themselves feel better this literally outlook has changed my life like the more that you just start going with what feels right for you and feels good for you the noise and the outside projections judgments or things 
when somebody doesn't even know you for you, they're just judging you about what you look like, how you sound, what you're doing makes no sense to me because I feel like when you're putting that negative energy out, it's gonna come right back to you. Yeah, if you're seeing this and you've struggled with that, girl, same, or whoever you are, same, but we can do it together because that is one of the biggest things that I've been really working on this year is I've been just starting to do what feels right for me and feels good for me because Nobody else is me. Nobody else will ever be me. Nobody else will ever be you. Nobody is you. So you are the only person who knows best for yourself. You know, I don't know where this weird thing comes where people around you or just people in general get offended when you don't want their advice or opinion. Somehow they relate that to their self-worth, but that really makes no sense, right? Because if you're not asking for advice or opinions, you shouldn't be getting them. And if you are getting them, then it's good to put up boundaries. And the weird thing is anybody who gets offended by a boundary is not your friend or is not a good relationship because boundaries is mutual respect and boundaries means that you wanna continue a good relationship. Every single human needs boundaries. Like I used to be a people pleaser or I used to be an over giver and when you stop giving to people who don't give to you, when you stop like constantly giving out this energy or just always being there when somebody needs you, but then they are never there for you and they get offended, <laughs> that's a good thing. Use that as showing you who people really are because you know, I learned that a lot in my life with friendships as I was always the one giving and once I stopped reaching out or you know, stopped playing that role, they were non-existent in my life. And that's a really good thing to show you, right? Like it's important. And it's so funny when people start getting offended by you having boundaries and those just, those aren't good people to have in your life. And I know it's so much easier said than done. It's your life. We are here in this body for a short time and you should go after and do whatever makes you happy and what feels right in your soul because you are gonna know. Like you're gonna be pulled towards these things, like whatever you wanna do. And I'm not even just saying like career wise, career wise. Like if you wake up and you're like, I feel like I need to go on a hike today. And somebody's like, oh, I think it might rain. Or if somebody, it's like, oh, you shouldn't do that because it's scary. Okay, but those are like illusions of fear made up in your mind before you've even done the thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you need to trust your gut instincts and your pulls towards what makes you happy and what is right for you. Like if you're around people and you're just not feeling like they have your good intent at heart, it's okay to leave or it's okay to cut people off because... Ultimately, like your time and energy comes first. You have to fill up yourself before you can give to other people. And I will always say that because I spent years of my life giving, 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 and it just drained me until I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the more that you love yourself and the more that you grow and evolve, the better that you're gonna be able to be there for other people. But you come first because that will just pour out into other energies of your life. Like. You know, when you go throughout the night and you don't get good sleep and then you're tired or your outlook has changed or you just don't want to be at a certain place or, oh, you go and stub your toe, like your whole outlook and perception can change everything. And once you nurture yourself and put yourself first, it's going to bleed over into other areas of your life. There's so many little things that I've done that have really helped my perspective of myself. You know, I've been wanting to make videos for years. Like, it was just so fun for me. I felt so creative. You know, I grew up dancing my whole entire life. I grew up performing. I grew up writing and painting. I would spend just hours writing on my computer for no reason. And it was, it just like fills my heart and soul. And I love being creative. And I feel like that's truly who I am. And so now, you know, you come up with all these things like, oh my gosh, what do I look like? Or, you know, we all have insecurities. I have insecurities that have took me a long time to work on and still that I'm working on, right? Like even my hair. I spent 10 years of my life having blonde hair. And it this was a big deal for me. And it truly made me feel good. You know, I like I have insecurities about my body or you know, even just it took me a long time to feel comfortable not wearing makeup or even just being on camera, even just the way you speak. So like you're not alone. We're all human. We all have our insecurities and things that we work through. But don't ever feed. And I know that's easier said than done. But like 
don't listen to the people who want to take away your light or put you down because they're upset in their life and somehow they want to project that onto you. That's not your burden to carry. Their issues are their issues. It's not yours to fix. You can't fix anybody. Like you're not meant, that's not, <laughs> that's not your work to do. Your work is on yourself. The only responsibility is yourself. Like you cannot help someone unless they want to be helped. But even when you have to have good boundaries because they are the person, it's their life and their soul and their body. I feel like I really needed to share that with you because trust me, it took me a long time and I'm still working on it. But anybody who's purposely putting you down for no reason at all, whether that's your appearance, your body, who you are, your personality, and you're not hurting anyone, they want to get reaction out of you. That's what they're looking for because it's going to support this belief or idea of the judgment of themselves in their head <laughs> to make themselves feel better. So I know that's easier said than done, but you got it. Like you're not alone. I'm right here with you, right? But I am just, I'm at the point now where I stopped listening to anyone or anything but myself. And of course, like, you know, with therapy and that, that's great too, because it's good advice for me, but that's advice that I'm seeking out. Like, I'm not going to listen to anyone's opinions or advice that I'm not asking for, right? Because I'm not asking for it. <laughs> From a young age, whether you have that light or that personality or just who you are, and if people wanted to take that from you or abuse their relationship with you and like because you were an overgiver or a people pleaser, you deserve so much more than that. You deserve people in your life who support you, who are going to respect your boundaries, respect you as a person and your energy and your time, and they're not going to overtake from you. And they're going to be there to support you and love you for you. And they're never going to feel insecure and jealous around you because... They understand that there is no competition, there is no jealousy because we're all different and we're all unique so it would make no sense. Like we do not know what's going on in people's lives. Like no matter what something looks like on the outside, we do not know what their life is like every day. So, you know, jealousy just doesn't really make sense to me because everybody's path is different. And you know, once you focus the energy on yourself, I feel like that's where things in your life flourish and grow. I love you so much. Thank you so much for getting ready with me today and chatting with me. Stay tuned for next week's video. If you, you know, want to share your story, just my Instagram is going to be linked down below and reach out to me. I appreciate you so much. You are meant to be here for a reason. I don't care what anyone else tells you. <laughs> you are here on planet Earth for a reason. Keep shining your light regardless of what anyone says or what anyone thinks.